Well, dangerous to themselves or others. That is the mental condition at the heart of Maryland's new red flag law. The law takes effect today. Alex Dimitri reports the goal is to reduce gun violence by taking the gun from people who threaten violence. Sometimes innocent lives are taken before the shooter commits suicide, as it did last month in Aberdeen. But most often, it's like the loss of Janice Uthie's daughter, Amanda, who shot herself. If there hadn't been a gun, there would have been an opportunity for her to get help, and she would still be here. Those who have lost loved ones to gun violence gathered as Maryland's red flag law went into effect. The purpose is to take guns out of the hands of people threatening violence against themselves or others, provided it's reported by a relative, household residents like roommates, or health care professionals. In the past, even if police were notified, they had no jurisdiction to take away someone's guns. We will have this additional tool that will allow the proactive removal of firearms before a scene becomes either potentially dangerous or fatal. As it did earlier this year at the Annapolis Capital Gazette, Gerald Ramos followed the law when he bought his guns until he allegedly opened fire in the newsroom. We don't have a crystal ball to know if this had been enacted, if it would have prevented the tragedy at the Gazette. But what we do know is going forward in Maryland, this piece of legislation will save lives. That there will be other people will be spared the heartache that me and my family and her friends have gone through following her death. Alex Dimitri, WJZ.